Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Happy Gaming. Here we are today in Astroneer once more with our Halloween event. And I might have broken down and started processing some of the higher quality gas. I can't remember which one it's called here. The... Oh geez. It's going to make me look up the name. The Noxo thing. Yeah, with the elegant spew flowers over here. I tried to use these flowers over here, but they don't seem to be the flowers anymore. So, these guys can just grow over here, I guess. And I'm not going to worry about collecting whatever flower it is for this shit. I don't understand. Because it was like spiny, and those are elegant, not spiny. So, I'm not exactly understanding what that is. But we do have some seeds there. We have these here germinating, getting ready. And if you noticed, when I clicked on this here, we are very close to our goal. Our goal is 5,135 points, and we are at 4,365. Less than a thousand left to go on that, and I think we'll get that today. After which, we'll have to start seeing what we need to pack up and take on our way back home to Silva. Now, I was touring around trying to figure out, or trying to find some more of those spew flower seeds, and I actually found a different colored cauldron. Apparently this one's swift. I think, I'm sure it does it fairly quicker than these ones here, especially since these ones are called leisurely ones. So that might have helped processing things as well later on, but it's still, I don't know, it felt like a longer process still than doing all the squash and lean samples. I've also switched the sides over there. It was starting to get a little deep in the hole. Oh, we're ready for harvest here. Okay, let's, let's show you what I mean. Pop! <laughs> Goes the plants. All right, I got another eight to plant each time. That's what I've been doing so far. Ever since I got up enough seeds to kind of plant eight and have at least even one extra left over, I didn't really care. Sometimes it wasn't always the same extras. They seem to germinate at different rates despite being planted at the same time. In some ways, I don't know if it's because of where they're positioned. Maybe their growth is stunted slightly or what, but don't always get the right amount if you don't wait the appropriate amount of time. Now, while we're waiting on those to germinate, maybe we'll take this over and start the processing method again. Okay, so I should just be able to put this right here. Uh-oh. I didn't want to do that. No, stop swapping them. Dang it. There we go. Uh, okay, yeah, and I still have... Oh, I hate when it does that. I still have lots of squash and samples. We'll probably need to do another harvest of that. And let's see where this one puts us to, at least. Yep, we have everything just working away as it should, and I don't mind grabbing up those ones for us. And the rest we can pretty much do ourselves. I'm gonna have to really pay attention to this because if I don't, it could end up filling that gas can with a whole lot of extra gas that I just don't want to end up wasting. But oh, we're out of squash and lean samples apparently. Okay, here, have, have one of those. Squash and lean harvest wasn't too bad, or the spook squash harvest wasn't getting too bad either. Especially once I switch sides, we could just make a little concave at this point. And help to collect everything for the arm to gather. And then while I get everything. Oh no, that is a spooky seed. I thought that was one of the elegant spew flower seeds for a second. And while it collects all the samples, we can get the seeds together and get them ready for planting. Alright, now I'm ready just to come along and plant all these ones. I do this wrong each time, but maybe doing it in a single line like this will be helpful too. Because what you want to do is start growing the ones furthest away from you. Because if you start growing ones closest to you, then they're going to block the view of the little seeds that are far away from you as you, as they start to grow and you get to want to plant those seeds. Of course, I could always just ship it off as soon as it hits the mark. <laughs> and it's not going to have anything to fill up at that point. <laughs> oh wait, now each one's 50, so it's going to be what, a couple more? Yeah, a couple more yet, but we should have enough just with this harvest alone. Okay. Here we go, this is our last one. Yeah, we get our gas canisters back too. That's a that's a handy plus because they're not exactly expensive, but it's not like they're super cheap either. They're super handy just to have extras of. Now, more of those proximity things. We got those before too. Another solid jump jet. We got one of those before. Small battery. That's pretty much scrap. I've been collecting all the scrap here too and getting it together. In some ways, I want to start making a scrap rover. You just put the giant scrapper on the one rover, tow it around with another rover, 
and tour the area and probably have another rover attached to that to collect everything but then you just tour the area and with that you can do pretty much a whole scrapping trip journey run of a thing <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I want these proximity repeaters. Like, these are just weird. I'm just gonna ditch these here, too, I think. Those alignment blocks I didn't really much care for either. I tried out a couple of them, but they just really, like, make up their own mind on what grid it wants to use. You put these things on anything, and it does, like, that crooked cube right there. And that's the actual shape that it's gonna make for you. It's weird. There is a cool mod on here, though. It was the... Yeah, the alignment mod. That was actually pretty cool. It does a whole different form of digging, and I like it. Let's check it out. This form of digging can come in super handy, too. Look, you just go straight down, and if you're up against, like, a sidewall, you're going, like, straight up against the sidewall. Hold on. Let me get the right angle. Oh, no, maybe I'm not. There's a couple instances where you can go to, like, a different angle. Then it just does, like, a deep down hole. And it'll just do pretty much a deep down hole at that point. And if you're trying to, like, level an area... It'll just do that. Um, if you're trying to raise an area, you can do that exact straight up deal like that, and then you can take it right down from there. I don't know, I thought that was pretty neat and handy. Well, I've got the rover that I brought here for a truck, so I'll set up at least, and we'll leave that there. We'll bring this storage silo back with us full of goodies, and I want to bring this other storage silo back with us full of of some other goodies as well, though I don't really know, I don't think there's anything really else to grab. In all honesty, we've got, I think we have actually more rewards to grab, don't we? Hold on. Yeah, Exo Farm Care Package. Wait, no. You have rewards waiting to be claimed. Yeah, okay, so collect. Bye. Ooh, some Astronium, some Scrap, Exo Chip. No. <laughs> I'm too full for the goodies. That's what we got the silo for. Ooh, free Hydrazine. I like that. Thanks, guys. I should have kept my other... No, I think it was two free solid fuel jets boosters. So you might as well just use them. So no rewards pending. But you can get a care package. Probably consisting of almost the same stuff that we got there. For 800 points. Okay, awesome. We got our Halloween event done. Yay! <laughs> uh, it didn't take that. That never takes that long to go. I think Christmas takes a little bit longer. I'll be looking forward to us coming Christmas. But now we can go check out... Um, the train and stuff. We checked out a little bit of the blueprints cost of them. I don't know what I want to do with the train. Maybe I'll use it to like work in the quarry with? I don't I don't know, but the quarry is pretty much for the digging machine. Oh yeah, you guys haven't seen the quarry. The quarry is awesome. I love my quarry. Yeah. Aatrox is really one of my smaller smaller plate based places. I wanna go check out the center of it, because I wonder if um what if that rover is just down at the center for some reason. Maybe this is where I got my Astronium mine. I don't know. I'm still curious where my Astronium mine is because I'm not collecting any research like I should be right now. Mm, I see Astronium and there's been some work done here. But this isn't where my mine's located at. In fact, where is the rest of the roadway located at? There's, there, there should be a connection all the way to the center central gateway chamber. But... Oh. What? It's right there. Oh, the rest is the footpath, isn't it? Somewhere here, there's a smaller hole, I think, for me. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Maybe I blocked it up with the rover harvesting Astronium? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. That's a good question now. Or the only well, updates could have, too, I suppose. They have a bad habit of filling up dirt during some of the updates on me. Well, I don't want to spend the whole episode looking for that line, so we'll just uh, load up finish loading up the ship and we'll head back to Silva. I can show you guys the quarry. Maybe we'll kind of get some figurines on what we'll do next episode for our train stuff. Alright, I'm not fully equipped with what we had and you know, everything that we could take, but I want to leave a lot of stuff here. I like having my bases across all the planets. Good and ready for us when we come to need them. Ah, uh, just like that, we're welcome back home with open arms. Welcome to the Silva base, where it's just a mass, it's a little messy, but it's just a mass of holding of resources, processing, printing, storage, we got batteries, for, we got toys from Christmas, we got seeds from Halloween, we have everything available to us here. Now, I want to go show off the quarry, it's not here, 
See, that's my current crappy, scrapping station, but we could totally put that onto a, a lot of that onto a rover. Here's all my alien babies. And we just have more power connections cycling back and forth. One goes underground to the quarry setup over here. As you can see, the wire coming out from underground there. And then another one feeds back to the base over here for these power generators. Now, a lot of times I have a second rover here too for traveling with back and forth in the quarry. It doesn't really, ah, I usually have an RTG in it, but, but, all right. I'm just trying to cheat everything now. I did tunnel every little bit of this out. Not really by hand, by rover, but still, I tunneled this all out. Came into some caverns as we get down here, of course, you can notice more and more, but I've also tunneled out roadways, connected <laughs> power lines, <laughs> lights. I have mines down here for quartz and clays and zincs and all kinds of different things. Well, perhaps for the end of the episode, we'll at least check out and see if the astronomy mine's on eight, yeah, some silver or not. I don't think it is. And then we will... I'll have to try and figure out off camera what I want to do for a train setup. Something cool on Silva. Maybe Glacio. I don't know. Maybe we'll go check out the Christmas base and see what we can set up there, if anything. If it'd be better situated there. I don't know. But before the end of this episode, we will also check out what we unlocked today with the Halloween event. Well, I'm definitely close to the gateway at this point, but... I think they've filled in all my gateway sections. I don't know. Maybe I should just come in from the actual portals to figure this out clearly the astronium mine is not here though so let's check out what we unlocked and then we'll call it quits for today's episode i'd like to thank you all for sticking around i hope you have enjoyed now did we unlock a new suit conductor suit <laughs> locked how is that locked oh maybe you have to make a train station for that i don't think we unlocked a new suit pollen count okay yeah that's the new visor cool Everything else is unlocked. Good. Uh, did we get a new palette color scheme? Um, these ones are locked because like some of them are glitchy. I swear to God. Um, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da. oh, safety orange. That's an old one, isn't it? Going green. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tinsel down. I like that one. Uh, honest living hat. Hmm. Galastro cap. Hmm. Hallowed helm. Year two anniversary, yay! And yeah, no, nothing else really. New emote, possibly? Yeah, giddy up. Stop sign. Train whistle. Oh no, it's locked. No. Exodynamic special event goal. Oh, is it a mission? Maybe. Let's just run a quick check and see if it is a mission or not. Digging deeper. Gather malachite. Things to remember. Scan probes. Okay, those are active and reclaimable, complete, but nothing, yeah, nothing new. Oh, well, maybe it has to do with this digging deeper, gather malice. Oh, we'll start exploring that next episode, I suppose.